back to the first leg where uh, certain items were thrown on to the uh, Manchester City pitch. Uh, one, uh, a lighter actually hit Patrick Zebra, the uh, Manchester United left back, so no stone is left, being left unturned by them. We hear, of course, as you mentioned about the... Uh, It's been confirmed that the unusual rise in aggressive and violent behaviour around the world is the result of a never before seen virus. The so called Aries virus is currently being investigated by a number of institutions. The British government has given the task to the National Laboratory of Medical Research, who claim are on the verge of developing a cure. Until now, the media and entertainment sectors have been blamed for the pandemic of violence, with incidents occurring that mimic violent acts depicted in films such as the newly released Gore Grinder 4 on which the producers have yet to comment. The arrest of Liberal Democrat politician Adrian Rice also received much attention. Mr Rice was arrested for the unprovoked assault of a 16-year-old boy and is currently being detained at the National Laboratory of Medical Research so that the nature of the Aries virus can be studied. More on this story as it develops. I did a bit of work back here. I thought there'd be a reason. Reason? Yeah, why are you so unsettled? It's obviously weird for you being back again. What? No, 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 it's nothing like that. It's just I haven't heard from this guy in ages. Anyway, so he calls me out of the blue and doesn't even give me all the details. Relax, we can do some good work here. Okay, this must be it. Okay. Hi, that's William. Is that? Hi, good to meet you. Virology and forensics, sir. Yes, that's correct. Very well. Adrian Rass, 48, politician from Kent. Favoured to win the next election. Attacked a 16 year old boy out of the blue. Uh, no history of mental or physical violence. Just out of the blue. What's the relationship to the boy? None. None whatsoever. Uh, just be careful when you go in there. I thought Aries wasn't contactable for physical contact. True, but it's not the virus you have to worry about when you go in there. Right, okay. We're going to have a look then. <laughs> okay, Mr. Rice, so on the day of the attack, had you been feeling any of the following symptoms? Muscle aches, tiredness, anger, fatigue, migraines? It was near the end of the campaign, so yes, tiredness and migraines were regular occurrences. Okay. On the day of the attack, uh, had you witnessed anybody unusually aggressive towards you or anybody around you? I'm a politician. When anybody approaches me, they do so because they have a problem. So, yes, it was more than likely. Yeah, you are a politician. But had you not witnessed anybody being criminal or deviant before? I'd have thought that was obvious. I'm not a babysitter. My job is to make sure people's needs are met and their problems solved. But this boy you attacked, Aaron Smith, he was 16. You're 48. How can you call that a solution? Because it's considerably more difficult to throw bricks through windows after your fingers have been snapped at the knuckle. Because you can't swear at the elderly now that his jaw's hanging by a thread. I think that's enough. He's having trouble kicking down doors now that his kneecaps are dust. Well, how did it go? We're going to need the keys to his house and office and a list of activities outside of home and work. Gym, library, clubs, hobbies, anything. That's a bit excessive, isn't it? Excessive? You should have had the lens this guy goes to.
nothing out of the ordinary here. It's just stuff to do with this campaign. Good, I can take this off then, can't I? I found this journal. Um, looks like you had a meeting with a lady named Sally about a boy that was causing a disturbance. A boy? Could be Aaron Smith. Mm. I recognise Burt Street. Isn't that where the attack took place? What do you want? Uh, hi, my name's James and this is my colleague Sam. I'm Mr. Forrest, this is Susan to Forensics. Really like to ask you some questions about Adrian Rice. Uh, I have nothing to say to you. Uh, Mrs. Higgins, is Adrian acting any different to normal on that day he came to see you? Uh, as I said, I know nothing. Now go away. Mrs. Higgins, please. If you've got any information regarding Adrian or, or, or Aaron, it would really help our investigation. We're trying to understand the nature of this virus. You mean you want to lock him up, don't you? Well, forget it. Adrian was the only man to stand up to that little shit. <laughs> you officials, you're all the same. Soft, every one of you. I came to the man with the problem. As far as I'm concerned, problem solved. Mrs Higgins! supposed to be connected. Something really doesn't add up, does it? Shouldn't the professor be in here? Yeah, where's all the equipment? Don't understand. Why would he tell us that Adrian and Aaron had no connection? I don't know, perhaps he was just misinformed. I assure you, that's not the case. Where is everybody? I don't think that's any concern of yours. Moreover, I don't think there's anything here that concerns you. What concerns me is why you lied to us about Aaron and Adrian. He had a reason for attacking that boy. It wasn't random at all. Why did you lie to us? Kept you busy, if nothing else. There is no virus, is there? What exactly is a virus? A disease? Look at the state of the world. It's psychological. We just gave it a face and a form so that it's curable. But in reality, it's just us. It's people. We've been so deprived of a legitimate form of aggression that it became inevitable. This might not be a biological pandemic, but I assure you the Aries virus does exist. How can you possibly cover this up? Because I'm not going to be the one standing in front of an angry mob, staring them in the face, telling them this is all their fault. As humans, we need an outlet for our aggression. As people, we need a scapegoat. But then people like Adrian will use the virus as an excuse. People like Adrian. We're all people like Adrian. Nothing changes, does it? What do you mean? This is the reason I left. This place spends more time covering up things and making its own truth up than it does anything remotely medical. This goes deeper than you. Deeper than me, deeper than this facility. And as such, the individual who contacted you has been dealt with. What have you done? James. I worked with that guy, Sam. Just think what you're doing. The only thing I'm thinking about is which one of his two faces I want to smack first. You see? Natural form of aggression. But you jab him with a syringe, stick a plaster on him, tell him he's cured, they believe you. Problem solved. 